Hello Aquarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot, or Tarot, whichever you prefer. <laughs> and um, welcome to your July 2022 read. I pre-shuffled all your decks and I meditated on your cards and I cleaned your face. That card wanted to come out. So this card is gonna be your current energy, clearly, because it's shot right out the deck. That's gonna be your current energy on um, Aquarius. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is your current energy, okay? So, um, I'm going to, <laughs> this is your love reading to see who you're connecting with for July 2022, who's on your mind, the person in your energy. Um, roles can be reversed. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Cross watches are welcome for this love reading read. Um, this is a new YouTube channel. I'm really excited about this. YouTube channel. This is my baby. So please, please, if this resonates with you, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate all those who have subscribed thus far. Every subscription counts. And I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I do have over a decade of tower reading experience with personal readings, one-to-one -one readings, but I am so excited to be on the YouTube platform, you know, just, you know, connecting with as many energies as possible and to get these messages out for July. Okay. So um, again, if it resonates with you, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring that bell so you know when I upload um, other videos, new videos. If it doesn't resonate, don't force to read. You know, it's not for everybody. This is a general read. But if it does, please do so. And if it doesn't resonate, you know, just hit that bell so that you know when I'm uploading new videos and then you can check for me then, okay? I'm gonna shuffle these decks again, see what's going on with the person on Aquarius' mind. What's going on with the person in Aquarius' energy for July 2022? Spurs, please show me the messages I need to see for our Aquarius for July 2022. Okay. There we go. This is your energy, these are your cards, and then at the bottom of the deck, these are your challenges, okay? This right here. So your current energy, Aquarius, is the Ten of Pentacles. You're just settling down with the person that you're committed to. You're feeling stable with this person, the stability. Um, you just, you know, setting up a, a solid foundation with each other. You're in a committed relationship, I, I see from your energy. And um, this can lead to marriage if you're not married. Some of you may be married already. This may lead to marriage with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you guys are definitely living with each other. You may be just, you know, renting an apartment together or purchased a home. But this is um, a stable commitment currently. The energy is like, this is stable right now, okay? It's your current energy. Your past cards are the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands. You may be connecting with, um, um, cause this is a lot of fire. You may be connecting with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But again, if this is your reading, then and it resonates with you, then this is your read. It doesn't necessarily have to be the signs that I call out. Those are just energies that I happen to be picking up. And so far, this is fiery. And this also tells me this is a really intense connection with this person that you're connecting to. Um, in the past, you were indecisive about something. You had two different, you had a decision to make between Decided to stay or go. I'm assuming it has to do with this relationship. Maybe it came with some challenges in the past. But also you guys um, got some really good news between you and the person that you're connecting with. Some good news came in. And you were feeling optimistic about the connection when this news came in. So it, 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 it was overriding that indecisive energy that you had with the two of wands about a decision that you was making. There was also some delays in the past that you were waiting on an answer for something. But everything came through, you got the good news, and um, there were some new exciting plans in the, in, a, in the near future. I mean, I'm sorry, in the most recent past. In the current position, I have the Judgment Reverse and the Seven of Cups. Um, I feel like right now, between you and the person you're connecting with, there may be some indecis indecisiveness about a decision in the current position. You had um, a decision to make. There was a lot of options with the Seven of Cups. 
there's a lot of options and you have to figure out what decision to make, but you were doubting yourself. Whatever the decision was, there was some self-doubt involved with the judgment reverse and indecisiveness. Um, So your current energy is like you're in your head about something. There's decisions that needs to be made. There's a lot going on in your head right now. Um, I believe it's you, Aquarius, and not your person. And you're just trying to make a decision. But the judgment reverses warning of bad judgment on a poor decision. So be very careful in your current position right now with this decision that you are pondering, that you are deciding to make. You guys know what that is, okay? But whatever that is, just, you know, give it a lot of thought because whatever you're deciding on now is coming up with the judgment reverse as a poor decision. But so, you know, I would reevaluate my options with the seven of cups, okay? In the future, I had the five of wands and the knight of wands reverse. Oh my God, there's so much fire energy in this card. And that's why that <laughs> the card just shot out the deck earlier. Um, you guys have a very intense... Um, connection can also be a very intense sexual connection with the person that you're with. I get that you guys are super attracted to each other. But I also get that when you guys fight, it's super fiery. With this five of wands, I'm getting like, there's you guys do tend to have a lot of conflict. There's a lot of arguments, um, egos involved with this, and it's petty stuff. Things that you guys are arguing over and, and being dis defensive about is so petty. That's the energy that I'm getting with the five of wands. Um, between the two of you, somebody is like, mm, a little arrogant. Um, between the two of you, somebody feels like somebody is unreliable in this connection in um, the future position. Something's coming up with a per where you feel like you can't count on your person or your person can't count on you about something. But also this person is like a bit arrogant. So I guess when you guys have conflicts, some stuff come out that just hits below the belt because of this arrogancy. So as much as you know, you guys are attracted to each other, oh my goodness, there's so much of the opposite, but the same level of energy when y'all are fighting. So it's just as intense as your sexual relationship, but with the bad stuff, with these wand cards, okay? Okay, so you two, you know, you're in a, you're in a connection with someone. There is, but I have to tell you, the concern that I have is the fact that you guys are arguing in the in the near future. There's these petty conflicts that continue to happen, in and out, good and then bad. Okay, you guys worked a lot in this connection. I get the energy of you two being together for a long time. Um, if you haven't been together for a long time, then you've been through a lot in a short time. So your challenges at the bottom of the deck is the magician and the ace of cups reverse. So right off the top, your, your challenges is to avoid a breakup with this Ace of Cups and to manifest the relationship that you two want. You guys have to work a lot on this connection. There's a lot of ups and downs that I'm getting. Um, someone suppressing their, their emotions in this connection. Either you or your person, is, is there's some blockages emotionally. So that may come out as conflict and I had this um, similar, um, I don't know if it was on a Scorpio read, but I did a prior read and I had similar um, cards. So between the two of you, somebody is blocking them. They're, they're repressing their emotions. So instead of dealing with them accordingly, it's coming out in a wrong way. It's, it's misguided, it's misdirected anger that's coming out when you guys argue. So if it's not you, um, Aquarius, then it's your person and you, you will be aware of that because you're in a relationship with them. So your challenge is to avoid this, to avoid a breakup based on absolute nonsense and to face your emotions and, and to have a heart to heart conversation with your person so that you can manifest the relationship that you both want, that the relationship that you desire, you have the power to manifest the kind of relationship that you guys want. Okay, some of you may even um, have some sort of um, psychic ability yourselves, you know, into tarot, astrology or something with this Magician card. But um, your challenge is, is to avoid this breakup by dealing with the repressed emotions that one of you are bringing to the connection. So a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is absolutely suggested. Um,